Well, for the third time in history, the Morganza Spillway is going to open. And the Army Corps of Engineers confirmed that opening set for Sunday. Now, here's video from the last time the spillway was open in May of 2011. This year's opening would be gradual with about one foot of water entering the floodway per day for the first three days. There'll be two meetings this week to talk about how the opening of the spillway will impact the area. Today, the Army Corps of Engineers will host a meeting at Butte LaRose Fire Station at 6 p.m. The second meeting will be at Morgan City High School tomorrow morning at 10. Well, Daniel Phillips is in the weather lab with more information on what we can expect. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Acadiana. One of the things to think about when they open up that gateway, it is not going to be a, a crashing wall of water that races down as fast as it can. They're opening it slowly. It, it's going to be gradual. You'll slowly see that water creeping up as it does work its way southwards through the basin. And they do that for a couple different reasons. First, obviously, if you release all that water at once, that can cause quite a bit of damage to the land, to the levees and everything around it. Uh, so by releasing it controlled, it, it kind of alleviate some of the pressure that, that the structures will feel and the levees will feel as well. But also there's a lot of wildlife that lives in that area and they give them a chance to, to get out of the way as well because they certainly don't want to be caught in the in the flood zone. Here's how things are going to act once they open up that spillway. This is where things more or less are sitting right now. The red line is the Morganza spillway. This is out through Point Coupee Parish kind of budges up against the Mississippi River here. Uh, and this is the Mississippi and this shaded blue area is all the floodwaters. The Mississippi bursts its banks. It's very, very full. So you have water basically all the way up against the Morganza spillway and coming up very, very high. This structure was put in in place as a pressure valve to alleviate the pressure and remove some of the pressure from the old river control structure. That's a little further up river northwards of that. So they are opening up these gates to allow the water to get out, take some of the stress off that old river control structure because that actually holds the Mississippi River in place. Without it, the Mississippi actually shifts over and takes over the Chafalaya River. So that is a crucial piece of infrastructure that has to has to remain kind of intact and that's what the gateway is for and that's why they're going to be opening it up once those gateways open and again it's not going to be crashing water racing through here it will just be a slow rise of water uh, that works its way southwards all the water starts to fill up the basin area. There is going to be a levee on the west and there is going to be a levee on the east. And that's what these highlights are here. That controls where the water goes so that the, it doesn't spill out and go everywhere. Now the water's main purpose, both when it's in the Mississippi, when it's in the Atchafalaya, all the riverways, it's working to get to the sea as quickly and as easily as it can. It wants to get out into the Gulf of Mexico. And when you think about that, it kind of gives you an idea of how this water is going to behave. It's going to fill up all these areas as it works its way southwards. This is the easiest path to the ocean. And that's exactly where all that water wants to go. Now, I wanted to point out this area. This is just south of about Butte La Rose. Butte La Rose is right around here. And the eastern levee here is going to come to an end. Now, once you get here, the water should continue to work its way southwards, but there is a tremendous amount of water on the way. So at certain points, uh, when the river gets to certain heights, different things are going to happen. And if this gets to about 28 feet around here, that water can then spill over this basin. That would then put it west of about Butte La Rose. Now remember, this is not all going to happen at once. This takes days for this to play out. So the water then wraps around uh, the this part of the levee and then this western levee here kind of takes over and holds the water in place. Again, the water is just trying to get out to the Gulf of Mexico, so it's going to continue its pathway through the Atchafalaya River Basin and eventually comes down at the Calumet Cut and the mouth of the Atchafalaya River. The Atchafalaya River and all of this area has been running very, very high all spring long. There is a ton of water trying to get out right now. And what happens is that as more water works its way down, there's a log jam of sorts. That water gets slowed up and it has nowhere to go, so it starts to spill out. Now, there is a barge out here by Bayou Shen that they have sunk. That is trying to prevent backwater flooding on the eastern side of this levee. And then the other place where you can alleviate some of that pressure is going to be up in this portion of the basin as well. 
there's a little gap between this levee and then this levee here. And if the water is too high at the mouth, then you can get backwater flooding back into this area, in which case this yellow line then becomes the main western levee that holds all of that water in place. Keep in mind that the backwater flooding into St. Landry Parish did not happen in 2011. That's not to say that it won't happen this go around, but there's not really precedent for it. But again, different set of circumstances, different amount of water. So it's something to keep an eye out for. The very first inundation maps have been coming out from the Army Corps of Engineers. Those are going to change over the next couple days as conditions change along the basin area. Remember, the basin is very, very good at holding the water. It is nature's purpose really is for it to hold that water. So we will kind of wait and see how everything plays out. Keep up to date on KTC.com and all our social media pages. You can find that inundation map on my Facebook early on this morning. And of course, keeping an eye on everything more to come over the next couple of days and certainly on air and both online.